evening today. I, uh, I wanted to show you all a couple things. I've, I've personally been having to travel a lot this year, and I know that at times it can be difficult for me to get some exercise in, and so I know that a lot of other people are dealing with that. So I wanted to show you a couple of simple, I was just gonna kinda of show you three main simple workouts that you can do in your room without weights, just to get your body moving. Whenever we're traveling, we're having to sit in a plane, sit in a car, we need to move more than ever, and a lot of times we get into our rooms and we don't want to do something. So it's just a simple way to keep moving. One, most people don't like burpees, but it's such a good movement because it involves your entire body. So a workout that I like to mix in is just 50 burpees. However long it takes you, if you're at a little bit of a better fitness level, you can try and go as fast as you can, still always having good form. But also, even if you are older and not very mobile, maybe cut the number down a little bit and just take your time on it. That's fine too. Fine too. For a fast burpee, I'm going to jump to the ground, back up. So I'm gonna go through and do 50 like that. Again, any motion is good. So even if I maybe I have bad knees and I need to move slower, I put a pillow down and then I grab onto something, bring myself down to the ground, come all the way down, and then I work my way back up. That's fine. Whatever your level of mobility is, any movement is better than not moving. So workout one, 50 of those, or scale down the number to 30, 20, whatever you need to just to get moving. Um, also have the blanket down here. My wife mentioned some people don't want to get on the ground in the hotel room. I almost wouldn't worry about it, but I probably maybe should. Anyways, you can throw a blanket down to keep clean. Another one that I like is doing push-ups and squats. You can do that on the ground, but a scale for a push-up, just get up against something like this, and I'm gonna keep my elbows close and press straight. I don't wanna be out here. That's gonna put a lot of stress on the shoulder. So I'm gonna get set here or on the ground, and I'm going to maybe do 10. I like going from 10 and then down to one. And then let's say I'm doing push-ups and squats. I'm gonna try and get mobile, but again, as a scale for that, you can just pick a chair and go into a seated position, come back up. So doing 10 here, then 10 here, then nine, nine, eight, eight. I really like that workout because it just feels like you're chipping away, the number's getting easier, and you end up doing 55 of each. So that's another workout that I like to throw in. And the last one is just lunges and sit-ups. So lunges are a really good movement. Um, be careful with your knees if you have knee issues. If you can, you wanna go all the way down to the ground and then to the next one. And I will do either 10 or just to the end of the room and back. If you have knee issues, you can stop a little bit short. All right? And then going to the ground for sit-ups. And with sit-ups, a lot of times people used to do them and some people still do, knees bent, feet flat. But whenever we are going here, we're working actually our hip flexors a lot. And so to take those out of it, you can make a butterfly position. But whenever I do this and I lie back, naturally my back is going to arch a little bit. So I like to throw a thin pillow behind my back. We also do this at our CrossFit to give that support. And then my hip flexors are taking out. I'm still working my abs and I can come up, use my arms for momentum, that's completely fine. Um, I'd say one out of 10 people do better without a pillow, so see how that feels for you. But I'll do lunges down and back, and then 10 sit-ups, five rounds of that. So just getting mobile, getting a little bit of a sweat, um, makes things a lot easier whenever you're traveling. I'll actually put these things in the comments below, and if you have any questions, let us know. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you, uh, again, have any questions, just put a comment below. If you love it, you know somebody that needs help with it, click the share button, and we'll see y'all soon.